Chris Peterson, head coach of Washington Huskies football here on the Rich Eisen Show against Auburn right out of the gate. Um, th that That is scheduled, one would think, because you need to get something like that in the win column for later on in the year when you're trying to get into a 14 playoff. Would you agree with that assessment? Yeah, I don't. I, I don't really know. Our AD told me uh, that's who you're playing. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> so, you know, we just play who they put in front of us, and uh, um, you know, a lot of times these games are scheduled out, you know, a couple years in advance, and you never know how they're going to be. And it just so happens that, you know, Auburn's got a heck of a squad. I mean, they really do. All the guys that got coming back and what they did last year. I mean, they beat the two teams that played in the national championship. You know, it's just, I mean, they could have easily been in the national championship. They really could have. And they got that team coming back. So there's no doubt we got our hands full right from the start. I think all coaches like to have a game under their belt, you know, to kind of, you know, work out all the kinks that there always are in that first game. But. That's not how it is, so we better be ready to go. Well, I guess part of the reason why I'm bringing it up, I'll just go straight to the question then instead of just cutting around the edges. A a Auburn uh, lost to UCF, and I would have loved to have seen UCF play in a playoff game. I, I, I would love to see eight teams play in a playoff game. What is your s philosophy on that? I think everybody would like more teams in the playoff. No question about it. I mean, um, and you're going to always have that debate. You know, you put eight in. Well, then, well, how, why didn't this? Why didn't nine get in? He st but still, it just it it would be just so intriguing, and I think everybody would love that. Now, that being said, that's easier said than done with the school year, with finals, with how many games these kids are playing, anyways. You know, you're going to take a game away in the regular season, and you probably could do that with all the money that would go in, you know, TV, all those type of things from a playoff system. And just so, you know, the powers that be would have to figure that out. Yeah, I mean, I I, think, I'd love to just see some more uniformity in, 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 yeah. if we can, certainly in a schedule. Like, you're not playing USC this year. And uh, and then there's that. that and then there's a Pac-12 championship game. that I, I'd love to take those championship games and just throw those out. And add a playoff game if you you know yeah. let's let's go right yeah I mean yeah that's what I'm saying I I mean you're preaching to the choir I think okay. most coaches would like to see more uh, you know more teams in the playoff and and that would be fun but it's so hard like you think about the NFL you know it's it, there's they got the system there's 32 teams and you know they know exact and it's all even everybody has the same preseason games everybody has the same you know division games you know half of us play an extra league game compared to some other conferences there's just so much more subjectivity in this whole thing and that's why i think it's even more critical to to widen that that playoff the tournament because who knows if you're getting the right guys in especially when it's only four the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience